Okay, this particular video lesson, we're going to talk about some uh, advanced attachments and hope that uh, I can make my points clear. This, uh, these videos are unrehearsed and it takes a little bit of a thinking to do in advance So what I'm going to try to show or demonstrate. So let's go ahead and we're going to do a little bit more advanced uh, image attachments. Okay, let's create a thread build log. My ship seventeen ninety nine. Scale of one eighty. We can use our mouse and do a control C to copy this, control V to paste that. We don't have to retype that. Okay, welcome to my build log of the HMS My Ship 1799. Hope that you'll be interested in this in my second box kit. Maybe I can practice some scratch building. So let's uh, play around with these um, this attributes uh, bar where we can do different things. <clears throat> As you highlight it, it's in yellow. Welcome. Build log this. Let's go ahead and underline this. And interested, let's choose a text color. And let's see, maybe I can do this in italic. Okay. Thanks for watching. My name. Let's go ahead and put a little smiley face. And we're going to hit a return key a couple of times. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and we'll post this thread. We've done this before. And we'll click back on it and say, okay, we need to add some images to this. Now, uh, you can do the image attachments while you're writing the post. I'm just making the demonstration of how you can actually go back after the fact to add some images. So right here you got an edit link and we'll edit and now we can attach uh, some files I'm going to hold my control key down. We'll go th through here. And let's select about uh, six images here. These particular images are uh, straight out of the camera. I guess they're about five meg a piece, but the uh, form is going to go ahead and manipulate the information and, and compress it for us. Now, some of you, including myself, we like to put uh, what we're doing in between these images. Some of you don't like doing that. So what we're going to do is let's try the first case scenario. And just for all practical purposes, I'm going to show you the difference. Okay, let's just save this like it is. We're not going to click on any of these little yellow 
buttons. Let's just click save. Okay, there you go. It saved all these as a simple thumbnail. Okay, as we click, then we're back to our post as other people are going to see it. So if we click on this, you'll see that we have an image tray down here at the bottom. We have this little sideways greater than or less than uh, symbol. That's less than, that's greater than. And we can uh, progress from one image to the next. Here's a little red box. Or we don't have to use the little greater than, less than. We can actually take our mouse on the image tray and go ahead and click on the image that we want to see. The, the, this is available for regular users. Uh, this does not mean anything specific to your post. You're going to X out of this. Uh, so for instance, um, somebody comes in here and they say, oh I want to look at this particular log. As you mouse over this, it gives you a snapshot of what the uh, post says. So we click on that. As you can see that I'm a different user. This is what the other user is going to experience. Okay, let's try a different way of posting this. Let's go back to edit mode and you'll see that what is nice about this particular program is that you still got all your you can actually see a visual representation of each of your attachments. If you want to delete an attachment, you can delete it here, and it's gone. And let's attach a file. And let's attach uh, something totally different. Okay. Now this particular net situation, instead of clicking on save, let's go ahead and just um, insert all. You have an insert all here. This insert is thumbnail. Okay, and we're going to come down here and save. And this is what other people will see if you click on insert all as thumbnails. Okay, let's go back to test your post. Just look at your log, and this is what we have. So you see that the mouse uh, is able to click on these. So if we click on it, we're right back to the image uh, tray where we can click on different ones. Okay, we can X out of this. And the difference is, is that the regular save brought those up as a thumbnail and insert thumbnail actually give you a little uh, smaller image of each but you can still click on them. This is what other people are going to see. Now if you notice that there's some weird stuff going on here. Yeah, thanks for watching and my name is way down here with my smiley that's kind of shoving all this stuff off to the right. Well, how in the world did that happen? Well, let's go back and look at something. Let's go back to edit and you'll see that we can correct this. Um, let's put our mouse cursor next to the word watching and let's put a space. Um, what we need to do is grab this with our mouse and left click and just drag it up to here and now you'll see uh, thanks for watching Don and there's my little smiley face well, what happened to my smiley face well those smiley faces actually have a text command that relates to the picture let's go ahead and backspace and let's insert my little smiley guy and while the cursor is still flashing Let's hit the return enter key a couple of times. Okay? So now we have our images here. And now let's do a save. 
Now you can see that we have our entire sentence here with our image block. It's nice and neat. And let's go back to edit again. And let's say that uh, I'm thinking that if you can see my mouse, I click up here next to the smiley guy. But now I'm going to take my mouse and click on this lower right hand edge of this image. And I'm going to hit the enter key a couple of times. I'm just going to write something. That is all the images that I have for now. Please keep watching. And I want to really grab people's attention. So let's make that bold. Let's choose a color. Okay. And you see that my mouse uh, cursor that's flashing is still the same color as this. So if I enter down, if I write my name again, you'll see that it's red just like the other. So what we need to do is we need to go back up here to color and just make sure that it's black. Okay, so you saw how we put the enter key in a couple of times to bounce all this down. We saw how we came in here with the, with, with the cursor. Uh, and we hit the enter key, which allowed us a couple of spaces. And let's go ahead and save this. Okay. We got a blocked images. And we had the other sentence that I wrote here. Okay, well, let's say that uh, after the fact, you really get to learning some stuff. And you say, well, I really want all these full scale. And I also want to put some writing in between each image. I don't really like this because I can't really describe what I'm doing. Okay, this will be a little bit tricky, but I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, we're going back to edit and just click on this. And we're going to remove it, but we're not removing that image from our tray. I'm just going to click on this, remove it. And remove, remove, and again, we're just removing the image from the posting area. Our attached images are still here because we never deleted them. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this sentence here. We're going to hold the left mouse down and um, Let's do this instead. Let's just hit the uh, the delete key a couple of times in space. Put a mouse out here. If you notice that the formatting with this little red is still the same color, we can go back up here to the text color and empty black, select black. Okay, so now a person that's not interested in having sentences in between each image, let's go ahead and do insert all as a full image. Okay, you'll see that uh, here's a preview of what everything looks like. And of course you can come here to preview it if you want to, but we're already knowing what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and save this. And this is our post. You see that each image is stacked right on top of each other. Okay. And we can actually, if the image is larger than the confines of this particular forum area, you'll see that you have a mouse hand. If the image size is within the boundaries of this posting area, you will not have a mouse hand, but you'll just have a poor pointer cursor. So we can click on this and you see that we don't have any more chevrons and we don't have our image tray. That's because we already inserted the image as full scale. And let's X out of this little tool there 
and now we need to go ahead and let's put some text because you might want to talk about what you put in between those. So let's go back to edit. Now here's a problem. It's kind of very difficult to try to squeeze text in here. We tried that earlier. But what we're going to have to do, unfortunately, let's go ahead and uh, and delete this or we can just hit the key delete on the keyboard that can be faster so now I've deleted all my images so how do I put some phrases and some text to explain each image okay well, let's do it this way we're going to insert here one at a time here this right here is where you're inserting all this right here is where you just insert one at a time so make sure our mouse cursor is here let's go in, ahead and insert a full image and let's see our cursor is flashing at the bottom right hand corner of this image if you hit the enter key a couple of times or three times or four times you'll see now that we have a space I'm going to say, okay, this is the first image of my frame. And we can come in here, we swipe across this, and we can make it bold. And it did. We can swipe across this. We're going to select it. And let's make our font size a little bit larger to 18. And it did. Now that our cursor is here, let's bump down about uh, four uh, inner keys. And let's insert a full of our second image right here. Okay, if you go back, it says, okay, this is the first image of the frame. Let's take this to keep from retyping. Let's do a control C. Let's go down to here. And here's our mouse cursor sitting down here at the very bottom right hand corner of the second image. We're going to hit the enter key about four times and cursor back up and do a control V. We will replace this first. We'll say second. You see that we're still bold. Okay. We're going to enter uh, several times. And let's go ahead and insert another full image. We can grab this text. Control C. And then Control V. Swipe and write in third. Okay, enter the keyboard a few times, insert full image of the fourth image, and swipe, control C, come down here, <clears throat> you have to have your cursor click, and you can see it, it's right there, not on this side, but right here, we'll hit the enter key, a few times and put it there and if you want to put it there you can or drop down one fourth fourth and just say that we really don't want this this image anymore so let's delete this one and let's go ahead and just insert this last little cannon here as our fourth image or the last image. And we'll say this is the last image and it is a cannon. Okay. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and save this. And we have our original text up here. 
Okay, this is my first image of the frame. We have text here, text here, text here, and here. So, this particular post is now fixed. We go back. The visitor logs in, and they can look at this, and here you go. And obviously, just like the other build logs, you can reply to your own and just say, hey, I now have some more images. And I always like to hit the, the enter key a few times, attach files. And just grab something. And let's go ahead and post as a full image. And the cursor should always, by default, be ready for you to hit the enter key. You should not have to do anything else after that. Here is a part of a vice. Hit the enter key. Thanks again for watching. And we can put in a, another carriage return or enter key. And we come up to the top of the post. And we can put in another smile. And we're kind of like this. Okay. So now we can go ahead and post the reply. So there you go. We are in the we're on the road here to actually producing a, a pretty nice build log. Now if you remember this reply when you reply and especially this one when you reply be prepared because that reply quote is going to grab all of these images and all of this wording. So I'll show you. When you hit post reply, now there's a quote. Let's see what happens. It says click to expand. And right here, it grabbed everything. If this is correct, a person that quoted you, and this is where you have to be careful that they'll come in here and you can view the attachment you have to X up here and view the attachment, view the attachment, etc, etc um, this is really not the best way to do things if you want to, this is how we're going to edit this, uh, this quote so let's go ahead and just swipe all this right here and this hit delete and let's go ahead and get this out so here you have the start of the quote right here and this is the end of the quote so at the end of the quote hit the enter key a few times and you say that looks pretty good. I will watch more later. Now this is somebody else that's logging into your, your build log. Okay, now here's a quote that you're probably used to. It says, Donnie said this, and here's the quote, and this is what you as a logged in user just said okay so that's the the reply quote is a little bit tricky and please you're gonna to have to be careful with that so let's use this one here and let's, let's uh, do a reply quote with this okay so here's your quote right that's your ending quote and here's your beginning quote See, so it's going to it, your the quote is going to include this sentence, this image, and this wording. So while you're in the quote 
setting, you as a as a logged on user to somebody else's post, you can click on this image and delete it. You're not deleting their image, you're deleting the quoted image from what you want to quote. So let's go ahead and let's hit the delete key a few times and that's where the beginning quote is and here's my sentence and here's the end quote and that's what I you're quoting that and I come in and says this is John and I like it because I have logged in as a different user okay now it's real simple and clean the person that did the reply to your post they edited their own quote and that's the proper way of doing that well this pretty much concludes uh, an advanced image um, attachments and if there's any more advanced uh, methods we'll be covering that in another lesson and thank you and I hope that uh, you all enjoy the new forum